Yeah, Micah, we have some new reaction at this hour. We're told that Hayes is in the burn ICU here. And while her condition meets California's legal definition of deceased, her heart is still beating, according to a family rep, because she is on life support to facilitate organ donation. Loved ones paying tribute tonight after a family spokesperson reveals Anne Hayes has been declared brain dead. You are a part of me. The 53 year old actress who went from soaps to movies and other TV was also a mom. Her 20 year old son Homer LaFoon stating, My brother Atlas and I lost our mom. After six days of almost unbelievable emotional swings, I'm left with a deep, wordless sadness. Hopefully, my mom is free from pain and beginning to explore what I like to imagine as her eternal freedom. A family spokesperson says Haish is still on life support as organ donation is coordinated. After last night revealing Haish suffered severe. Severe anoxic brain injury and was not going to survive. Anoxic brain injury is any time that the brain goes without sufficient oxygen for a period of time. The injuries and in burn victims, they're usually in combination with a lot of other injuries and they're very complex. It's been one week since Haish was badly burned in a Mar Vista car crash, winning a fire, having to be extricated from the wreckage. The woman whose rental home was destroyed in the crash reacting today. The news of Anne Haish passing is devastating. Her family and her friends and her children especially uh, really have suffered a great loss. Haish's former partner Ellen DeGeneres tweeting, this is a sad day. I'm sending Anne's children, family and friends all my love. A statement on behalf of loved ones reading, today we lost a bright light, a kind and most joyful soul, a loving mother and loyal friend. Her bravery for always standing in her truth, spreading her message of love and acceptance will continue to have a lasting impact. And earlier this week, the LAPD said they had been investigating Haish for felony driving under the influence in connection with that crash. Today, given the turn of events, LAPD says no further investigative efforts will be made in this case. That's the very latest live here in West Hills. I'm Lauren Lister. I'll send it back to you. Lauren, thank you.